Walter Scott remembered. Walter, you can learn grace when you see the picture of a slain man and still see him smiling, breathing, being alive. The quell, the copper anguish, when you convince yourself to not burn down the house that engulfed him. Scott, there are so many we have lost to the violent nature of this country that is bent on killing the thing it believes cannot easily die. The spirit of a man, whether running or in a hoodie, whether laughing or loitering, is not target practice. A spirit of a human, whether here or not here, is still here. Ask my mama. She does not argue with ghosts who have been taken from the salt of the salt too soon too soon. She has taught me to speak of the fast fallen in reverence in case their energy is near. In case they forget the way they died is a way to die. Too many dust to dust. Not enough ash upon birth. Ain't no rise like the heat of a people who have buried too many and so many too soon. Death comes for us all no matter if our mouths are full of gold or rot, no matter if we utter Psalm 23, no matter if we say we matter, our black lives matter. In a country fortified on our great grandparents' backs is only a fact of the map. No matter, it seems death comes as if we called it home for dinner. It seems death arrives whether or not we've prepared our bodies for it to feast. Remembered, we are all complicit. We are all witnesses. We bear the burden of bringing the responsible forward. We bear the burden of our sisters, brothers of our neighbors and elders, our youth and saplings. We cannot fight the power when we sleep beside the brazen burn. We cannot fight for justice when we nod and nod in silence always. Silence not protected in this silence. Still feel safe here? Beneath the undercurrent of a country that asks for our allegiance, the war is on the other side of the door. There is no easy way to say this. It is up to us. It is our task. We must do the heavy lifting. We must boycott and breach the teachings. Paralyzed our critical thinking.